Welcome to episode 59 of our Dusty Survival Series. I'm struggling on the farm this month without Dusty, so I call in the helping hands of Bandana John. Good morning and welcome back to the Dusty Survival Series here in Erlengrat. It's June. It's 20 past 5 in the morning, we have got $433,000 bucks in the bank and it is going to be one lovely sunny day. But before we crack on, I uh, just want to have a bit of a chat about things in general. First of all, you may have noticed things maybe look a little bit different and you'll see that as the video goes on, I'm using some filters here, reshading the whole game so that things should look just that little bit sharper and that little bit better in terms of quality of color, depth of contrast and all that jazz. So if you think that's looking good, let me know. If you think it's looking terrible, let me know. So first off, I just wanna very quickly say thank you to all the new subscribers that have come onto the channel in the last two to three months. We've had a little bit of a spike, which has been lovely. I think most of that is due to the Desolation series that I put out, 10 episodes. It was great fun. It was a lot of work, but it was well worth it, I think. So as you know, I have very limited time on my hands. I run my own business, I have my own family. I probably get about three hours a week to produce these videos. Nothing I do is scripted, it's literally done ad hoc. And then I spend the time editing these together myself and spitting them out onto YouTube for all my happy fans. I would absolutely love to be able to produce more videos more regularly. Yes, it's nice to be gaming, but actually it's part of the creative process that I enjoy. I love editing videos. I love producing the stories and everything that goes along with it. But anything involving Dusty is difficult because of course he's a separate character. There's lots of jumping around with the camera, getting things into position, getting all the voices right, sticking over the overlays. It probably adds at least another hour onto every one of the videos I edit, if not more. So I'm going to put out a poll in the next couple of days just to ask my community a few questions. Is it, is it Dusty that you like? Is it my presenting skills? Is it the gameplay? Is it the storylines I try and fuse together with FS gameplay? For instance, I'm very keen to start a new series on precision farming. I've never done precision farming before. I love making things as realistic and as ultra sim as possible. It's going to take more editing, but I think it will make a really great series. So that's it. Really, I'm just asking, what is it you like about the channel and the content? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see how I can mix things up a little bit. Or maybe it's just a case of keeping things absolutely as they are and keeping the story going. So thank you for listening to me ramble on on the intro. Probably dropped out a load of viewers there, but this is really for my big fans of my subscribers really appreciate your time and i really appreciate your fandom and your support right let's get on with business end of last month i managed to get all these bales wrapped i've got three of the bigger bales just for grass that's going to come back up here for the sheep so i'm going to have to pick that up and store it somewhere i keep changing my ideas and where i'm actually storing stuff i think this will go down to the mill again but in all honesty I think actually I can just put it in the warehouse, which is right next to where we're selling it anyway, down by the animal dealer. So that I think is a job for this morning. But again, no real rush on that. That's probably something I can wait until Dusty gets back so that he can just sit in the cab and poodle along with the trailer. I think it's worth having a very quick glance through this. I'm looking to see if anything is going to sell in June. Olives we don't have. Soybeans we don't have. You know, eggs is November. Milk is coming up to September, January actually for milk. Let's keep skipping through grass. Yeah, well, that's really for the animals. Straw again for the animals. Bread is later in the year. Honey, no. Sunflower oil, no. And we know that lettuce, tomatoes and strawberries are all very much later in the year. However, we've had a bit of a fluctuation on the prices for planks. June was, I think, the best month, but that's just ever so slightly increased for July. I feel like I'm going to sell this now because I've had this before and I've been bitten in the bum last time when I waited for July and it dropped. So I think I'm going to gather up all the planks we've got, put what we need into the furniture production and the rest can go and be sold down at the supermarket. As for furniture, yeah, that is July, definitely. So we're going to hold on to the furniture for now. 
Of course, now we've got cows, we've got manure, and we've got slurry, but none of those really want to go for sale right now. That's all early in the year in January. And we have a huge amount of fries. So I moved quite a few pallets last month, if you remember, but it turned out there was even more to move off camera. So we now have 135, give or take, liters of potato fries. That's an insane amount. I had a look at the sheep earlier. They need a bit of feed. They need a bit of grass in the trough, but for the minute they're grazing out in the paddock, so they'll be happy. I think the chickens are good as well. We put in an absolute ton of grain last, well, I think probably three or four months ago, so they're happy. I want to check these fields again. Always check in, making sure that we don't miss that harvest window. We've got a bit of time yet, though, in all honesty, but I think I will come up here with the sprayer in fact, I think all of our fields need a bit of a spray, if I'm honest. Yeah, we can see a lot of weeds. What have we got? Poppy, bit of thistle. Yeah, it's not looking good. Otherwise, the crop is doing well, and I'm happy with that. And the situation over yonder is exactly the same. So these two, which are going to feed our chickens, are fine. Dusty called earlier in the week and said, please, can you take the truck out for a run? It's good to keep the engine turning over. So I'm going to do that. I'll just pop inside and get the keys. And then we'll jump in this old baby and have a run down to the fields. Lovely jubbly. Right, let's get on the road. It's going to be a lovely day here. Weather is set to be sunny. Now, that field looks rather yellow, which to me feels a bit early. But I can't remember what's in there. Is it barley? Ah, hold on a minute. There's a log in the road. Well, that's no good. Let me deal with that. Just give that a slide out of the way. Back, I'll just get it over the bank. There we go. We don't want it rolling back on the road. Thank you. So yes, this field on the left, which is barley, is ready. That is unexpected. I thought we had maybe another month before that was going to be ready so that has come through earlier than expected which means i'm going to have to do a harvest on my lonesome it's going to be a long old day i think then if i'm doing this on my own i'm going to have to get everything set up that i need trailers harvesters and everything else obviously worrying about cultivating the field after is not a big issue that can be done another month but yeah this barley is ready that means that can go into our production chains, both into the brewery over at the main central hub, and obviously, of course, over there into our mill. In that case, I do want to just quickly check the weather. 21 degrees, 28. It's going to get blisteringly hot later on, but it is going to stay sunny. And then next month in July, sunny, but a bit of cloud cover. Doesn't look like we've got any rain coming till September, but obviously these are months in advance. Really, it's just using statistics at this point. So I'm wondering whether or not I do a quick spray of some of those fields uh, to maximize the yield and then come down here. I think what I'll do is I'll get all the machinery ready down here. So I'm ready, locked, stock, and ready to rock, but then I will head off and go and do some spraying all the way back at the homestead. Ah, oh, Dusty, I need you back, son. I need you back now. Right, parking up there. Right, I think the first thing I want to do is get the trailers down there. We've got one of our big red ones here. I think the big case, if I remember, is all the way back at the homestead. That's a bit of a pain in the bum, to be honest. But what I'll do is I'll hook up. In fact, have I got a tractor around here? Oh, damn it. Yeah, oh, crap. They're all the way down at the meadow because that's where I was using them at the end of last month. Okay, uh, this is where it's difficult with one person. Okay, let me regroup and think about what I'm going to do. Engine on, oil's good. So I'm going to drive down there with the combine. I mean, look, it's only 10 to 7 in the morning. I have got all day to get this job done. So I think we'll be fine. Let's just edge it forward. You don't want to blast the engine first thing. Let it warm up because she's going to have a busy, busy day. Fuel is okay. Battery's good. Yeah, right. So uh, we want to pick up, well, the header at the back, really. Can I squeeze in there? 
Yes, I think we'll be fine. Oh no, I need to go move the uh, coupling around. Okay, let me back up, sort things out, and we'll get ourselves down there. Just push this round, round and round and round and round and round. Eeky. Right, should be able to back onto that about there. All good. That is what we want, isn't it? Yep, fine. Don't hitch up the wrong one. It's the sort of thing I would do, that's for sure. Right, I'm just estimating here. About there, I reckon. Edge her out. And down we go. Right, there's an awful lot of bread down there that needs collecting, but that'll be fine for the rest of the day. And I think... We'll have some furniture to deal with. No, that's clothes, isn't it? Oh my goodness, so much going on. Sorry, mate, bit of a squeeze, thank you. Right, let's take a wide angle, nothing's coming. Right around with the trailer. Right, we're off. Let's go get parked up. Right, off the main highway. I should turn my hazards off now. And the winkies, yep beacons off so this is the field we want to attack ah i've just realized i need to go and get other equipment and now i don't have a vehicle because i can't exactly drive around in a combine all day righty ho i think i'll park her there for the minute i've just had an idea they really cannot do this job entirely on my own i'm going to get steve to chuck over one of his boys who can uh, run the combine and I think that'll be okay. I don't mind giving them a couple of quid for the day. They've got nothing much else on this time of year working with animals. So, yeah, I think I'll give them a call. Hello, Steve. How you doing? I've been all right, mate. How have you been? Yeah, I've been all right. Just waiting for Dusty to get back. Poor bloke's still strung up in hospital. Yes, I've heard all about it. But is he going to get any better? Yeah, he is. He's definitely healing up. I don't think it'll be long. Well, that's good to hear, isn't it? What can I do you for anyway? Steve, can you chuck over one of your boys for the day to run the combine? Oh, absolutely no problem. I'll send John over right away. Well, I've got a lot on at the moment, as you know. Well, that's what I thought. I'll chuck him a couple of quid and a couple of beers as well. Oh, that's all right. I already pay him too much anyway. I'll send him over right now. Are you over at your barley field? Uh, yeah. How did you know? Well, it's the only field that's going to be ready this time of year, isn't it? Spot on, Steve. Spot on for a guy who knows animals. You know a lot about crops. Yes, very true. Anyway, I can't sit around chatting all day. I've got this cup of tea to get on with. Ha! <laughs> okay, Steve. No worries. I'll see John down here in a minute then. Cheers, pal! You're welcome. Bye, bye, bye. Well, that's that situation resolved. Nice and easy. John will be down here any minute. Bearing in mind that they're all called John down there. I have no idea who's actually going to turn up. Right, let me have a quick check of all this. It's all tidy. Needs a bit of a clean. But, yeah, everything's been working smoothly. I don't think we need to worry about that. Let me just turn the engine off, take the keys out. I'm going to go pick up another vehicle. So that is where the bale trailer is. Mustn't forget that. I've still got the big water bowser over there, which I'm going to need to pick up milk at some point when we go to sell. There's more French fries coming out. Oil's good. I think we're out of, yeah, I think we're out of sunflower seeds in there for now. So that's fine. Right, let me hop up the hill and get into another vehicle. I said it before, but this time of year, the tomatoes, the lettuce, everything just grows like stink. Also, the guys have been busy in the brewery. We chucked a load in the other day, but all this is already set to come out. I'm going to cold storage. Again, I haven't got time to deal with that today. I need staff. I need a team of blokes. Just looking at the hitches here, I could take the small truck. The trailer hasn't got a rear hitch on it, but the Brantner has. So I'm wondering if I can... Yeah, I'm wondering if... Oh, do I even need to take the Brantner? It's a shame that the uh, the trailer hasn't, because what I could do is take the trailer down. Eey, or could I back the trailer onto the trailer? Ooh! I think that is exactly what I'm going to do. Oh, a bit of mud on the carpet. So oh, it was going to always happen, wasn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Let's uh, get ourselves hitched up. Around there. We're on. 
I'm going to come around and drop the back. Right, let's see if this works. That is one precarious job, but I've managed to do it with all my man skills. Right, let me strap on the trailer and get it down to where we need it. One on there, one on there, one on there, and you'll be surprised how amazingly strapped on that is, even though the strap isn't going anywhere near the bit of equipment. Lovely profile shot of me there. Let's just back down, get hitched up again and get underway. It's a lot of backwards and forwards in when you're doing it all on your own, but needs must. Dusty will be back. I'm sure he'll be back very, very soon. Let's just get into there. Right, we're on. Now, if I've got everything lined up, we should be able to get the trailer up without any problems. Well, that's just peachy. is off good job i'm gonna head up to the homestead pick up the massey pick up the other trailer and then by then john should be down here we can crack on with some harvest there she is oh yes i remember why i parked her there now because i was gonna give her a quick wash before the next job she's really due for it do you know what she needs a treat she works hard i'm gonna give her a quick jet wash and then we'll crack on and get down there Gotta look after your equipment. You really do. And this, albeit a small part of the whole farming operation, is an important one. Blast off all the grass here. I can drop this down, it can dry nicely in the sun. We can oil it and grease it later on. Ready for the next mow. Getting all the nooks and crannies. I think that is done. Now you can't tell me that that doesn't now look awesome. Look at the Massey. Right, drop. It's that one off. Drop the front mower. Unhitch. So the trailer, there she is, just there. Don't think she's got anything in her. I will be disappointed if she does have. Nope, she's empty. We're all good. Let's go and do a harvest. Ah, it looks like John has arrived. He's got the header on and he started harvest. Good work. Right, uh, where do I want to put this trailer? You know what? I'm just going to dump it here, I think, for the moment. Edge away. Let's jump out and have a wave. All in, John. Fantastic. It looks to be Johnetta. As I say, they're all called John down at the animal dealer. I have no idea when he says I'll send John down who it is. I think it's just like a code name he uses for all of his staff. Right, so I think Johnetta will be fine for the moment. I think that gives me just about enough time to grab the sprayer, which is down at the mill, and possibly give all of these fields a bit of a spray. Thing is, I do need the other tractor with the skinny tires on, and that is all the way back, you guessed it, at the homestead. Well, that took a bit of time faffing around getting the other tractor, but now it's down where we need it. Half past ten. I'm going to hitch on the sprayer here. I think it's got pesticide already in it. And we'll give everything a bit of a, uh, a bit of a going over. Oh, 
Not steady. Nearly bashed into it then. Right, we are on. Let's head over. I've got a feeling that that hopper is going to be full. Well, I can't see. Ah, oh, yes. Pipes out. Damn it. And I forgot to give her the frequency for the radio in this tractor. She's probably ringing on the other one. I'm not even in the Massey. Oh, Christ. Hold on. Let me whiz over there and get things underway. Yeah, she's waiting. There's nothing more infuriating for a combine driver than having to stop and stand still. They absolutely hate it. Right, let's get alongside. It's tight. You remember we had to downgrade the width of our header simply because it was so big we couldn't get alongside. Stay tight. This is a sign of a good combine driver. Also the sign of a very, very bad carter. In myself, me and Dusty have got this down to a T, but we know when each of us... Ah, you see I'm getting too close. Hold on, let me sort this out. Let me have a chat with her. Okay, we've got it now. It's just a case of matching speeds. And ever so slightly tweaking your cruise control. Right, I'll bank off here, let her go past. And of course the other thing I need to do is pick up all this straw. Now we're not going to have any rain for a while, so I'm not in any rush to do that. I want to get the spraying done first and obviously get this crop in. Let's get alongside. And about there. I said it's coming up 60, 61, 62. She may be out. Right, let's move out of the way. I'm nearly full here anyway. Back into position. I mean, put it this way, if Jeremy Clarkson can do this job, then I definitely can. 73%. There we go, 78, oh no, 89. And that's the end of that one. And I'm out. I am at maximum 100. So I need to go swap trailers. Pretty smartish. And then get everything loaded out for the sprayer. I just don't think I can do two jobs at the same time. It's insane trying to swap vehicles and get things aligned. Dump the trailer there. And that should be absolutely fine. Let's go pick up the other one and get ready. Don't think I'm going to get much spraying done today. Go on, John. Are you getting ready, are you? What is he doing? I've crashed. Rapid hitching up. Here we go. Bosh. No messing. My 360 degree neck allows me to see at all angles. No problem. Right, let's get alongside. I can get Johnetta emptied. I might just be able to get the sprayer out and ready so I can jump straight in that afterwards. Oh no, she's going to turn here. Let's get into position this side. Oh no, we've got a new driver. Oh, lovely. Bandana Man. We call him Bandana John. Oh, really? You're going to do ups and downs now, are you? Right, let's get out of here. Get back in the Landini and get everything over the other side. That does... Yeah, that needs spraying. So we're just going to go up and down here because then we can keep an eye on business. Back ourselves up. I have got oh, well, about a quarter in the tank here of yeah it looks like feed fertilizer and actually this field does need fertilizing however i've just had john on the radio bandana john is waiting 
He is not at all fussed though to be honest. Anyone who wears a bandana is cool as a cucumber. He's in no rush. He's probably sat in there with a banjo. Happy as Larry. Right. Let's get alongside. Oh, I started too early. Come on, John. Too far. Backing up. Backing up. Right, we're in. Let's keep ourselves roughly aligned. Nice and straight. I'm a bit too far away now. There we go. See, there's not a lot of space that we've got to work with here. About a foot. Before we start whacking the trailer against the header there. Right, I'll sit here, let him fully unload. I do wonder if it's time to pick up an auger that we can tip into at the side. Although, to be fair, the mill is just there. It's not like we've got to travel a huge distance. As soon as he's offloaded, there we go. I'm going to go straight to the mill with this. Get rid of it. And then be ready with an empty trailer to come straight back. Straight over the pit. No messing. Hold on the brakes. I wish I had a adjusted the trailer here I'm pouring out the smallest little window right trailers down let's get it back in position and then I'm gonna hop into the Landini and get that spraying underway my goodness it is all go here today crazy 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 trying to do too much at once Right, let's give this a go. I've left the trailer down that end, so when John comes back, hopefully he'll be able to stop off and, uh, yeah, chuck it in the back. So let's get the sprayer on. Give this field some proper feed. Some fool has left the trailer right in the middle and I cannot get around it. I just have to swing around, try not to crush the crop and get myself roughly aligned to where I was. Make sure the boom, oh, see, the boom doesn't smack the top of the trailer right about there. Let's push on then. How's John doing over there? Did he hit my trailer? Can't tell. Do you know what? I don't think I'm spraying. I'm going way too quick. I'm all finished with the spraying. I think that is a great job. Let's just check the satellite view. Yes, and satellite view looks good. That field number 19 is peachy. So that now needs a little bit of herbicide to get rid of all those horrible weeds. I want to get down to 22 and get some fertilizer on that. I'm just wondering whether our big field, you know, it doesn't number four, which has got our spuds in it. That also needs, yeah, that needs a bit of food as well. Okay. Let's focus on 22 for now because we're down this end. Any minute now, John is going to need a load off the back of his hopper. So busy, busy, busy. Get everything out. Oh, about there, I reckon. Although am I a bit far away? Hard to tell. 
Yeah, I think I need to come over a bit. The problem with this field in particular is that it's very close to the road and therefore very close to the wire fencing. It's quite difficult to turn around. Okay, we've only got 3% left. Let's get this out and then we'll go reload. We are spraying. All is good. Yes, happy fields. Well, that's that job done. Sprayed up. Just packing the boom away. Fantastic. All done. So we've got fertilizer on this field and the one above. We need to, uh, yeah, we need to get some herbicide on there. But while this has got spray in it, I'm going to head it over to our spud field behind our big potato factory and see if we can get some in there as well. Looks like John has finished over there. Combine is stopped. He's got his pipe out. So, yes, yeah, so I'm going to grab the other trailer and get that offloaded. Then he can go home for the day. Not that, that was a particularly long day of work for him, but it's good to have a second hand, definitely. Right, out of one and into the other. Let's just get close enough. Oh, I think I've missed it. It's just, it's such a fraction this. Let me back up and do that again. Okay, that is tighter. We are close as we can get. Okay, that's good. Right, gonna leave that running. Let's get back in the other tractor and go get that field sprayed. It's actually been a while since we've done any proper spraying. I think maybe I just haven't been paying attention but on the field that we have just harvested I'm thinking we could try and get some slurry in there we've got it we haven't got the equipment but we got the money to buy some if we needed to we did mention it last episode so I'm just wondering if now is the time boom is out sprayer is on all right let's just head across this diagonal and get this field underway All done folding up so that is all of the fertilizer done in all the fields happy with that I don't think we need any back at the homestead if so then I can deal with that later on that's fine for now what I want to do is switch things up and get some pesticide down I'll get the Landini loaded up with some herbicide we've got it on the trailer here I've already offloaded the fertilizer into the old tanker there get the herbicide in and then I'm going to focus on this field and 22 beyond and then I can head over to the homestead and get that done up there as well for now I think that's a good place to wrap it up I think in the future I'm gonna to have to do multiple videos per month because there's just so much going on so expect a second video soon for June until then Take care. Bye-bye.